Welcome to this presentation on Manufacturing Execution within Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Manufacturing Execution offers tools for the execution phase in the production process, specifically the time span between when a production order has been released to the production floor and until the work is completed. Manufacturing Execution extends on the functionality within Microsoft Dynamics AX Time and Attendance, which focuses on the time aspect, while the Manufacturing Execution area focuses on the specific feedback on jobs assigned to resources on the production or shop floor. While the key task of Manufacturing Execution is the ability to have an intuitive and easy way of starting and reporting back on production jobs, Manufacturing Execution also supports the daily planning happening on the shop floor. This includes prioritization of one job or another, assigning job to resources, where resources are either individual or groups of workers, or individual or groups of machines, or even in some case vendors, operating on part of the production process. Workers should not be confused with large numbers of jobs and functions. With an easily configurable terminal, companies have the options of setting up dedicated terminals, showing for example only jobs assigned to me, showing only jobs assigned to a given subsection of the production floor, and perhaps showing only functions relevant for the type of work being performed around that particular terminal. This could be, for example, that functions accessing the details of a worker's personal time schedule, flex hours, etc., are only available in the break rooms, while core production functions are available only on the production floor. Increasing the efficiency of shop supervisors is equally important. With manufacturing execution, sub-supervisors will receive tools that will decrease the amount of times they would otherwise have to use in an office. Enabling the shop supervisor to quickly execute on tasks such as job prioritizations, reassignments, materials availability, and absence registrations allows for the least disruption in the day-to-day -day operation. As the day passes and the accumulated registrations come in from the production floor, the enterprise as such will have a far more accurate picture of the current state of the production process with an immediate understanding of reduced quantities and cost incurred. At the completion of a cycle, some data will have been processed immediately and some will have been processed after an automatic or manual approval process. Data coming out of the production floor would end up in, for example, production job journals, project journals for engineer to order companies, HR and payroll for absence and attendance registrations, and at least a full and precise cost tracking in general ledger. In this slide is a very high level overview of a simplified production flow. Coming from the upper left corner, Eduardo, the production planner, will be releasing a number of production orders into the production floor. Last, the shop supervisor may have a role of planning within the time span of, for example, the day or week. This would involve prioritizations and job assignments based on an understanding of worker and materials availability, machine status, etc. Finally reaching execution, Shannon, the machine operator, will start working on the jobs assigned to her. She may record her time for both setup of the work area as well as the actual processing time. Once completed, Shannon will report back into manufacturing execution the result of the time she has spent, including primarily the status of the jobs she was working on, the good quantities she produced, and any possible defects and why those defects occurred. Lars will continuously monitor what is happening on the production floor. He may intervene where needed and will be the person who can redo faulty registrations and do on the spot reassignments and job reprioritizations. At the end of the day or week, he furthermore could hold the task of approving, rejecting or adjusting the registrations made, ensuring high quality data while retaining a complete historical record. Continuously during the execution phase and following the approval process, data will flow from manufacturing execution into related areas such as costing, payroll, production journals, materials availability, etc. etc., ensuring that the actuals recorded on the production floor is made available to job functions across the enterprise. Thank you for listening to this presentation on manufacturing execution in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012.